Well, now, as you know, there's always something exciting going on in the royal household, and this week has been no different. The palace is issuing this statement. <clears throat> it is with regret the Prince and Princess of Wales are separating. So, according to sources, Prince William has slammed Netflix over reports that the controversial panorama interview with his mother, Princess Diana, will feature in The Crown. And, of course, each Saturday I love to give you a rundown, and who better to do that than Harold Grant? He's here. He was the ex-royal butler. Hello, Nana. Nice to see you. you. too. Yeah. So, God, it's been busy, hasn't it? The rules it have been having a bit of a time of it. It has. It's, it's all going. It never really stops, does it? No, no. I mean... They're having a real time of it. It's, it's the crown. I mean, mm. I've never watched it. Have you watched it? I have because uh, I was actually involved in a competition a few years ago and they asked if I would watch a couple of episodes. So I watched it and found it a little bit frustrating because um, there's bits of it that obviously are somewhat accurate and there's other bits uh, that are not. So it's, it's kind of based on, I suppose, fact and fiction. I think that's the, the, the big thing about it, isn't it? Well, so so they're using the the, the interview. Or, you know, they're mm. using the interview, which obviously William yes. was very upset yes. about. And we we in this country have decided we're not going to use it anymore. Mm. Isn't that right? He's in, mm. and and I agree with him because it's a trauma. You don't want to keep seeing that. No, I think it's it's difficult. I completely agree with them because you, you know it's it's a difficult time for for them as a family. Mm. Um, obviously, you, you don't want to be repeating history. But then the other part of it is obviously is part of of history. It's something that it took place mm. uh, in this country, and obviously there's an interest in it. But the problem with the crown is people are watching it and literally taking it for face value and mm. what happened last year um, with the now Queen concert was obviously she came into the programme a younger generation that didn't know anything about mm. all that that took place suddenly started kind of getting quite um, annoyed about it on social media so that's why you, they've got to be a little bit careful because they're, they're watching and listening and maybe not fully understanding and, and it's getting a bit complicated. Yeah, so it's true, that younger generation, this is a bit wallflowerish on some things. <laughs> I'll get myself in trouble. <laughs> They'll come for me. They'll come and get me. Um, so this is happening. That they, I heard as well that apparently that uh, Prince Harry, uh, they were sort of trying to get Netflix to roll back on some of the, the things. Is, is that something that you've heard about? It wouldn't surprise me because obviously during the Queen's funeral, we saw them as a family together again. Mm. Um, um, whether they've had conversations about it, who knows? Mm. I mean, it, it wouldn't surprise me if conversations did take place. But I think you saw... I mean, I, I thought, from what I could see, is it looked like they'd become close again. And I think that it's possible. Maybe he's gone back and thought... He's realised that if what comes out, you know, with these books and all these mm. things that they're planning on doing, it would only cause a, a division. And I, I think that... I know his love for his grandmother and for his family, so I think maybe this might put the brakes on it and maybe think? a bit of a... U hopefully, mm. a bit of a U-turn. Well, with Meghan, I don't know whether that will happen. And what about the fact that uh, King Charles, now he's unveiled a plaque that he's the King mm. Charles in Scotland? Absolutely. Which First is nice, time. I think that's lovely. First time as King, unveiled mm. a plaque. And it must still be strange for him because I, was, I watched the footage and there must be part of him that, that still... You know, to, to have been Prince of Wales for the longest Prince of Wales in history mm. and now to be King. And, you know, when you, you see your name always in a plaque, it must seem strange. But, I mean, he's doing... An amazing as job the king as, as well. the king, yeah. and you know his, his birthday's coming up soon. Next month we've got his birthday. He is the birthday. Oh, his birthday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Scottish, I get it. The birthday um, <laughs> coming up. So, and he is the longest. He's the the eldest king that we've ever monarch that we've ever had. Mm. Um, that well, when he's come to the the throne. And, of course, next year we've got the coronation now. We've got the and, date and everything. Well, they're talking about a budget coronation. I'm not up for that. I want them to spend a fortune. I love the way we do pomp and pomp ceremony. Pomp and it's beautiful. I, I, think, I still think we'll see that. I think what they're meaning is they're just going to maybe... Maybe not so many people get invited to Westminster Abbey, so I don't think you and me will be... In we the might, but you might be. Well, but maybe I'll be invited. If I, I do, you can come along with me. Thank you. I just said it. You said it on TV. We record that now. I want to get my MB or Knighthood or David or something. Whatever, I, whatever they can give me, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm not fussy. Uh, and what about this uh, confusion over Queen, the Queen Consort's title, mm. Camilla? I mean, what, what, talk to me about that. That's causing a lot of confusion, and a lot of people I've noticed on social media having to um, explain it and defend it. And quite simply, uh, her title obviously is Queen Consort. That is the same as the Queen Mother. Mm. Um, Queen Mary, if you go back in, in time, 
technically that is the title, but they're known as the Queen. Yeah. So it's the King and Queen. Same with the Queen Mother, yeah. with Queen Mary, Queen Alexandra, King and Queen. So it is Queen Camilla. That is her title. And there's a lot of people that correct me and correct other people and say, no, it's not, it's Queen Consort. That is her correct title, but she is known as the Queen. That's but but Consort, her. doesn't it just mean that you are not... You're married. It's through marriage. It's, through, it's, it's marriage. Through marriage. Birth. That's what it means. It's, it's not it through mean, birth. Exactly. That's what it means. But all, it doesn't but, mean you're not the Queen. It just means you're not the Queen through birth. But with men, it's different. This is other confusion because mm. obviously once it was seen at one time that if you, um, your husband, if you were the queen and your husband became king, he would then outrank you as, as senior, which obviously... So he remains a prince. So that's oh, why like they that. remain a prince. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's why that's Prince the, Philip was these, Prince Philip. Exactly. And not King Philip. Exactly. I often wondered why he was not King Philip. Prince Consort. But that's why. Absolutely. So he's a prince, he doesn't become a king because that's sort of a... A, supposedly the, a higher level Otherwise it goes queen. above the Queen, yes. Is it now? I wonder why that is. I don't think so. They got that wrong. King, Queen, equal. But I agree that, yeah, there should be some difference so that you know which one's which. Which is which, yes. Yeah. So, so that, and, that and, and are there any, any brief updates on Harry and Meghan? Have you had a chance to listen to her next edition of the Archetypes? No, but see, that, that confused me because that all stopped, didn't it? We, we had all the kind of trailers and everything and then it all went really quiet and then there's been a few and then it stopped. And I think the, the problem is, just from my experience, because, you know, I like doing a lot on social media. It's interesting that they've started and then they stopped. You, you've got to keep going. You can't just stop and start. Well, it was for the Queen's funeral. Um, I think they obviously stopped. Obviously, the Queen's funeral stopped for that. But if they don't, but what I mean is, originally when it all came out, it was supposed to be yeah. was it last year and then it, it didn't happen. And so I think I think that'll probably continue. I think. I think, I think that contract will but probably as long, end. As long as it, well, if they carry on doing it as long as it's positive, then they'll be fine. The, the latest one was not very good. It's not very good at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I just find her voice really patronising as well. I just find the whole thing it's a bit rubbish isn't it have you listened to any of it I haven't I've got to confess don't worry don't I worry haven't. you're not missing I'll tell you what I'll listen to one and you watch The Crown no that's, that's <laughs> a deal listen to one it's lovely uh, to, to see Harold Grant not Grant Harold Harold Grant thank you very much for joining me